Hello everyone, welcome to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Today we're going to try a little experiment on that seat pan for that John Deere tractor. I'm going to do electrolysis on it, see how that works for the rest of removal. I know I talked about bringing this in and having it sandblasted in previous videos, but I'd really like to try and do everything myself here in the shop if I can. So before I start the electrolysis, I'm going to put a little paint stripper on here and get what little bit of paint is left off of it while we're getting the tank ready for the electrolysis. stock tank full of water here, just plain water right out of the hydrant. Now we're going to mix in some super washing soda. That's part of the electrolysis. I'm not Walter White, so don't ask me how it works. But this is the stuff you need to use. Now just stir it up good and get it mixed in. I'm just going to set the seat pan down in here. It's not going to go all the way. Just have to do it with two shots. Hey, just take a battery charger. Put the negative clamp of the battery charger to the piece that you want. Get me rusted. Then a regular piece of scrap iron, any scrap iron will do. Put the positive to that. Put it in the tank. And all you need to do is make sure they're not touching each other so they don't short out. Then plug the battery charger in. Now electrolysis works. The scrap iron is an anode and it will draw the rust off of the piece that I have grounded and take it to my scrap iron. It takes roughly a day to clean it up. You can see the reaction's already starting. There's bubbles starting to come off of the seat pan. It's very important that the ground be on the piece you're de-rusting and the positive goes on the anode because DC electricity flows from negative to positive. That's why a lot of the older cars and tractors use the positive ground system on them. But we'll let it sit here for a day and see what it looks like. Okay, it's been about a day. out here and see what it looks like. See the water is quite Looks like it took quite a bit off. Got a ways to go yet. Clean it up with a wire brush and see where it's at. Got the DA set up with a piece of 40 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to see what it does. Definitely cleaning it right up. There's still some in the pits, but it's black now. I'm not sure if that means that it's converted and it's safe to paint over or not. I think I'm going to give it another 24 hours, see what it looks like then. The sander was taking it right off, but it really gummed up the paper. OK, 
Okay, after 48 hours of electrolysis, this is what it looks like. I kind of cleaned some of it up already, but it leaves this black film on it, which is the converted rust. And it will clean right up with a sander. You can see that's sanded, that's not, it just clean, it takes it right off. Here we got the seat pan all cleaned up and ready to prep it for paint. But before we do that, a little crack here, one there, it's pretty big ones here though. Need to get welded up and ground down before we get it ready for paint. Get that done. Okay, I got the welder set up. These cracks welded up. Now where this hole is, where there's a piece completely missing, I could cut a tiny little patch for it, but it'd be easier just to hold a piece of copper underneath there with this copper bar. The weld will not stick to that. And you just go ahead and fill that hole in and grind it smooth afterwards. Yeah, there it is all welded up ready to be ground down like any other sheet metal when you're welding something like that you just keep tacking and moving all around so you don't don't warp the steel if it does warp a little bit it's not the end of the world you can always hammer and dolly it back flat again we'll get this ground down be ready to continue on okay ready to start grinding up these welds This entire thing down with some paint there just to get all the grime and grease and dirt off of it. I'll finish cleaning it up and this thing will be ready for a little bit of paint. 